Yogic Lore channel. Today we'll be doing a Yin Yoga sequence. This flow will focus on the heart meridian and pericardium. Both these meridians begin somewhere near our heart, travel from the inner part of the arm, and they end at the top of the tips of fingers. So the Yin Yoga poses are same for both these meridians. Also, these poses are suitable for all levels. Today we'll not need any props. Still, you can have one or two blocks nearby just in case you need them to support a posture. So let's spread the mat in any silent corner of our home and begin the practice. Let's start by stacking the left knee on top of the right knee in cow face pose. Keep both your feet flexed and beside opposite buttocks. Once you're comfortable here, raise your left arm bent from the elbow with left hand pointing towards the roof. Raise the other arm and form a double cross as in eagle arms. Lift the arms to your shoulder level. After a while if you feel tired, you may place a brick at third level on any one leg and rest your right elbow on the brick. Hold the posture for a while with normal breathing. Now keeping the legs as it is, relax your arms back down, remove the block, extend the right arm and press it against the left knee, twist towards right side. Look back over and above your shoulder, feeling the twist in entire spine, left arm behind you catching the right thigh crease. Hold the posture for a minute. Now slowly come back to the center, interchange your legs, stacking the right knee over the left knee this time, place a brick at third level on any one leg, raise your right arm, now form a double cross with the other arm as in eagle arms. Whenever you feel tired, you may rest your left elbow on the brick.
relax your arms remove the brick now repeat the spinal twist towards left side looking back over and above your shoulder relax and come back to center now face the shorter edge of the mat slowly rise up to table top pose on your knees shifting your weight onto your left palm place your right hand upside down with fingertips pointing towards your knees with upper part of the hand touching the mat and fingertips pointing towards your knees now slowly slide your hips towards your heels Avoid sitting on the heels. This will create a stretch in your wrists. Come back to the center. Now rotate your palm so as to place palm on mat and fingertips again pointing towards your knees. To feel the stretch, move your buttocks towards your heels. not exactly sitting on the heels feeling the stretch in your wrists hold for a while now release your hand and relax We'll repeat the wrist stretches again with the other hand shifting your weight onto your right palm place your left hand upside down with fingertips pointing towards your knees the upper part of the hand touching the mat now to stretch the wrist slide your hips towards back Keeping the weight onto your right palm, rotate your palm. Now place the left palm on the mat, fingertips again pointing towards your knees. To feel the stretch, move your buttocks towards the heels. Avoid sitting on the heels, focusing on the stretching of the wrists. Now release and come back to tabletop pose. Bring your knees in line with your thighs and buttocks. Toes pointing out towards back. We'll be here in the melting heart posture for three minutes or so with normal breathing. Extend your arms with palms pressing down and pointing to the either sides of the corner of the mat. Bring your spine in slanting position, trying to touch your forehead to the mat. with elbows slightly bent
slowly lie down on your stomach in sphinx pose legs extending towards back and feet pointing out keep your feet a little apart bend your elbows with forearm and palm resting on the mat open your chest and shoulders relaxed and away from your ears bring chin parallel to the floor close your eyes and hold the posture Now slowly rise up coming to diamond pose or vajrasan sitting on your heels bend your elbows and join the palms behind your back in reverse prayer pose straighten your back and relax your shoulders if this pose seems difficult then you may choose to just interlock your forearms behind your back holding on to opposite elbows close your eyes or just look in front will not be here for a long duration holding it for a minute or so
Release the posture, relax your arms and lie down on your back in knee to chest. Bend both your knees hugging your shins with your arms wrapped around it. Keep the feet flexed and feel the entire back getting relaxed in this posture. Extend your legs, bring your feet a little apart, heels pointing towards each other and toes out. Let's do Shavasan variation today by interlocking our arms above our head, holding on to opposite elbows, both the arms resting on the mat. Feel the energy from the ground, relaxing your entire body. We'll be here for next two minutes. Whenever you feel like rise up by turning on to any one side. Thank you for joining in this heart and pericardium meridian yin yoga sequence. Do leave your feedback in the comments below. Also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet. I'll meet you again in the next video.